Okay then, here we go. The lab conduct. After the uh, house abandoned, what do we expect in this one? I don't know. Blimey. That was creepy. Brilliant. But brilliant in a creepy way. The abandoned house in oh, okay, here we go. Stories untold. Episode two. This is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three new session entry. Okay. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no That's signs of it. Experimental science. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, we some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Okay. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Right. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Right, this sounds far more confusing. Uh, well, the first one was a uh, trip of nostalgia to old video games and uh, creepy weirdness. Um, we're now in a science lab doing some s s experiments on some sort of specimen from the uh, experimental science group. Right, okay. Um, M for manual. So, Electromagnetic spectrum X ray, okay. Two is the concentrated light laser, okay. Three is the acoustic resonance. Four is a drill press. Five is safety instructions and equipment layout, right? One, um, the X ray, equipment required, monitor set to X ray, charge CCA6 X ray device, R3. Oh my god, I what? What is this? Help, press the keys bracketed in the top menu to move between pages press tab to roll over to the test chamber at the chamber use your mouse cursor to okay oh so this is the test chamber gotcha so we've got the uh, laser unit here frequency so this is the signal generator don't know what that is monitor looks like a, an old video recorder or something this is obviously the test lab. Here's the drill. Um, this is the something. And that's the other. Right. What the hell are we gonna do then? Right. Uh, let's have a look at the experiment. Right. Subject J1. Oh, 1986 again. Uh, Mem is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray. The artifact to determine if it's internal structure. Okay, we can do that. Right. X ray. How do we do that? <laughs> right. Manual. Uh, X ray. Right. Camera, monitor, charge. Camera, monitor, charge. Right. Do we do camera? Camera, monitor, oh my god, what is that? Now, charge. Which is the x ray machine? That's the laser. Signal generator. Um, x ray, okay. Charge ready. Um, so camera monitor set to X-ray. 
how do we how do we oh infrared x-ray there we go ah now oh I see right so camera that's charged that's on x-ray we now good to go okay good work the x-ray is coming through now getting there there's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material and no signs of activity either all output is flatlined oh it's dead then okay let's begin Brilliant. Experiment complete. Press enter to receive a new experimental task. Okay. Right. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Laser. Uh, let's have a look at how do we use the laser then? Um, that's what I'm saying. Laser. Laser. Uh, so, light frequency is 650 nm. Yep. So we need the laser 2 light generator set wavelength, monitor set to RGP, okay. So you need to be set to RGP, that's infrared isn't it, yeah RGP. So we need to set this to 650, no, switch it on, we need to switch the camera, uh, 650, yeah. Happy? Go. Sound like a drill. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay. Awesome. We can do this. Green laser. All right, what's that? Green laser is 510, okay? Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I think that's still the same. Ten. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Okay. Let's keep going. Increase again. Uh, what do you want this time? You want a blue laser. Now that is four five five. Oh, well, it's alive. It's alive. It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Really? We've just got a thing beating again. Do we really want to do this? Is why scientists always cause the end of the world, you know? Uh, begin with. Gen oh, okay, well, this is different. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 mega or 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, right, what do we require? Uh, so the sine is the S. That's fine. Um, amplifier set gain, and what was the gain that we needed? 250. Oh, gain one. Sorry. So, uh, this is that, isn't it? So switch that on. We want it sine wave, frequency 250. 250. Gain I don't know where I can read that. Oh, what's this? How do we do the gain? Amplifier gain to one. Ah. Need to switch on first. No? No. Ah. So that needs to be on. One. No. Two fifty sine. Oh, what this is. Um. 
Ah, we had to switch the laser off. Should I switch that off as well? No, okay. Go. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay. Experiment complete. Uh, set the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Increase the frequencies to 500 and amplifier to 5. Is it still a sine wave? I didn't... Scanning that and I didn't read it properly. Sine wave. I think I said pronounce it sine wave. So that's up to 250. Uh, up to 500, sorry. Or oh, listen to it ramp up. And this up to 5. Whoops. There you go, 5. Go. Oh, it's definitely shaking. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? No, we're going to die. What about uh, velocity? What about a what? Stop them, blue man. Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Oh, God. Right, the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Switch the square wave, maintaining the current thingy. Okay, square wave. I didn't see which one the square wave was. Manual three. Square wave is it is is the that one. Okay, so it's it's the one at the top. Oh God. Seeing good activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. Yes, it does. But you need to trust us. Do we? Fine. This is where things always go wrong. I'm the lab assistant, and I'm going to be the first to die because that's how it works. Right. Uh, maintain the gain of five and the square wave form. Uh, bring the waveform frequency to one kilohertz. Up it goes. It's quite a jump, isn't it? Oh my god. We're still going. Oh, this is going to be awful. Here we go. Oh. Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. What? We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What? It popped! Right, the protective case. Oh, the protective casing is off! Okay, it's still there. Proceed to the drill the surface. Oh my god, right. How do we do the drill? Uh, drill is on. Ensure the equipment, uh, the drill and the TV are switched on. When ready, trigger. Um, Cynic master as the normal to begin drill insertion. Right, so I guess I switch this off. Um, drill on. There we go. Oh. Nervous. Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Really? Where are you? Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Sure. Sure. This is going to go well. Make contact with the artifact. What? Open the test chamber. I. You. Hello.
Uh-huh. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. What? What's going on? Is that a spike coming out towards me? Sorry if anyone... Uh, epilepsy warning. It's probably a bit late now. Am I supposed to do something? Oh. I think I'm supposed to touch it. Oh, God. Maybe I'm not supposed to touch it. <laughs> Oh. Don't try to speak. Stay calm. You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. Oh, brilliant. Was this my contract? It's like a conscious black box. Oh. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The Don't want to. Translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. New data connection ready. Oh. Oh my god, what is going on? I can't help feel we've been uh, bullied into this, and this wasn't our. Uh, if our union heard what's going on, um, there'd be. All over the place. Right, memory retrace. You wake up in a crypto pod. Strug Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Oh, okay. Now we've got another game. Uh, you wake up in a cryo pod. Uh, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface. So, impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Right. Uh, put on space suit. Memory action unavailable. Ah, okay. Um, fix damage. Okay. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Okay. Go to computer. Okay. Use computer. You tap the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Exit ship. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Let's hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. You come and do this then, mate. Honestly. Oh. What did I have to do to get this job? Honestly. My bonus better be bloody good at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's getting clearer. There's, a, there's an image of, like, a being. Memory retrace. You squeeze for the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Yeah, yeah, all right, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, you look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Right. Hold breath. Okay. Um, you squeeze through the damage airlock and fall to your knees. Uh, stand up. 
No. Um, look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from the down ship. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see an unfamiliar star pattern. Uh, point to stars. No, okay. Um, search wreckage. I'm not sure what for. Um, what should we do? Oh my goodness, I'm actually stumped. There's a crash site. Smoke billows from the abandoned down craft. Uh, flickering on and off, wreckage surrounds you. Looking up, what you see? Okay. Um, uh, uh, search. Crash site? No. Um, call out? No. Um, leave crash site? No. Uh, what's that? I don't know what to do. What do you do? Um, 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 um. Look at ship. There is no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Oh, read uh, writing. Ah! The writing shows particularly. Sorry, the writing shows particularly shows that. The writing shows. Partially shows the name of the ship. Sorry, I was struggling to read that sentence. Omni Sertua Culpa. These words will haunt you. What does that spell if you fill in the blanks? Uh, like that. Wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away uh, enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Uh, look around. A circle of artificial light surrounds you. Oh, we're on the table or something. Set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Okay, that explains that I should have just waited another sentence. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Ah... Uh. Say hello. No, he didn't do that. Um, look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Ah, oh, I can't spell at all today. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> okay. Approach the figure. Okay. Uh, go to figure. Ah, there we go. Our range is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. What? You should be proud of yourself. What? You, what? 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 Ah. Oh. Is he talking about me or this orb thing? I think it's talking about me. What's that? Experiment sciences is right. Okay. 
sense his vision being dragged into here. Plugged into wires. Oh, computer's off. Oh, it's back. We awake! The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of experiment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Okay. We're in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned on the wall. This doesn't add up. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? I don't know. When did this happen? I don't know. I'll ask, shall I? Okay. Adjacent... <laughs> Start to annoy me. Adjacent is a display monitor uh, with wires that drape across the room to into our chest. They have tortured us. Ooh. Um... Doesn't tell us. Okay. Um, so we're in the bed in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned on the right. right. Read writing. The symbols seem to be indicate where on our body they had to cut. We have been butchered and maimed over and over. Nice. Um, look at display. Oh, okay. Oh, look at monster. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. Okay. Um, look at wires. A series of wires leave the machine and run across to our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Do we pull the wires? Pull out wires. What just happened? What's that alarm? Oh god. There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Find out what's going on. Oh god, we're controlling something in lab 15. We yank the wires protruding from our chest together. We're all screaming pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Uh, stop. Alarm? No. Okay. Um, go to door. There's a door, isn't there? Okay. Uh, look around. You're in bed, small artificially lit room. Some sort of pin writing on the wall. Adjacent monster wires that cross the. Now dangling loose, they have tortured us. Right. Uh, get out of bed. No. Um, leave room. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Sure, mate. How much? You wait till you get that thing in from lab 20 in, in um... Oh, we're going again. Oh, here we go. I'm controlling that right there. Ooh, only teasing. No, we're going. We're going for it. No, just joking. No, we're going to do it. Hmm. Indicator. Oh, hello. Lots of screechy noises. Picture of a girl's face, I think it was. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Wait, you in here? Um, look around. This is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut and the other door has an orange alarm light above it. Okay. 
In the center of the room, a table holding a small device taken from your It's My R ship. Cool. Um, look through window. Thick glass, mostly mirrored, uh, with one wall next to the door. In the next room, a human is connected to a sphere by its eye. Oh, he must come too. Oh, great, we're going on a trip, everybody. <laughs> um, okay. Open door. No, I can't. Um, oh, I suppose we could have a look at device. Uh, it was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Use codes. Oh, what God. We haven't seen that before. What are you doing? Oh. Using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. The we greater good. Now. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. I, know. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I trying to find matching pairs? I can't find any matching pairs. Or am I supposed to look at this? Does this, does this help me at all? Oh no, look, there's like a figure of eight at the top. Let's go for a figure of eight thing at the top. Then that. Then another figure of eight thing. I'm looking at these four here. And... That. Clearly that didn't work. Uh, oh, or do I got to find these? Maybe I'll find the. There's obviously got to be a little code there. How do I zoom? Ah, oh, I can zoom in. Oh, here we go. This is better. Um, We just get another flash of information. Will that work up? I don't know. Should we just try and. Oh! Okay. It's a. It was a. Simple pattern of uh, one, two, three, four. They're converging. It's over. Oh, hello. These are like the friendlier little cousins of the Daleks, isn't it? He's not so bad. You're not so bad, are you? Hey. Oh. So like we're going. I don't want to go. Okay, let's go. Let's go to whatever space eventually we're off to. Please don't do this. We we mean you. We mean them. No harm. Please don't do something you'll regret. Wait. One day, station. This will haunt you. What the hell was that about? <laughs> okay, some weird lab experiment and the, uh, the, the, the aliens, I suppose, and us took over the lab and probably get, I assume we killed everyone. And we'll regret that one day. Odd. Hmm. So are, are these stories interlinked at all? I don't know if they are or not. Um, but yeah, that was episode two, the lab conduct. Interesting. Next up, we have the station process.
What does that include? I thought no, start standing by a computer by the looks of it, but wow, okay. So we've had a haunted house in the eighties. A lab well actually that was probably nineteen eighties as well, looking at the uh, looking at everything, it's set in the eighties, isn't it? So that that was weird. This is starting to feel a lot like Stranger Times, a TV series, but um yeah, the lab conduct, episode two complete. Next time, episode three, where is this going? Well, join us to find out. Thanks ever so much for watching. This is intriguing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.